Hello guys, how are you doing today? This is Joseph from Joe Concept. Um, this is a very short um, video and this video is just going to be a quick tip video. Uh, I was playing around and I noticed some shortcuts that I felt I should share with you guys. And this shortcut, I find it very handy in this new version of um, Cinema 4D 20, um, Cinema 4D R21. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so I'm going to start with the navigation shortcuts. Um, mm, or a transform to rather. I'm going to start with a transform shortcut and move my way up from there. Alright, so I want to be a little bit fast. So, if you select an object to start with, if you select an object and you want to constrain your movement of this object along a particular axis what you can do is just hold down your control and double click on the axis once you double click on that axis that axis is set so even if you come here and click on an empty space it's going to constrain it on that axis you can't move on any other axis all right so that is there for you then that also can so for you to go out of that you also you need to use the same shortcut control and double click on the axis it goes out of the command so if you click now it is now free form and that can also be used for a plane so if i want to move on two planes so i'll just double click on this uh, axis band and that is highlighted white so if i move it can allow me move on both x and z axis all right so that is for that. So for me to deactivate, control and double click, that goes. So for the next one, we also have the same, um, uh, what's it called, Move, moving. So if I hold down shift, and if I hold down shift and I bring my mouse close to an axis line, you notice it highlights the plane that is perpendicular to it. So what it means is now is that if I want to move along this plane, you just hold down your shift and bring your mouse on the X axis. It moves along that plane, All right? So it moves along that plane. So you can see, so if I want to um, move along my X and Z plane, so just hold down shift on this Y axis, then you can move it along these two planes. All right, but since the control double clicking works, I think that's better for me but just to let you know that that is there so if i then the other one is to if i don't want to click on uh any axis and i want to move perpendicular to my screen so what i can use i can use this um, two shortcut combination and that will work so notice you must first off be on a particular view so make sure that an axis is just um you have a plane directly facing it, just more like I'm on this orthographic view. Then what this will do is that it will allow me to move this object either in my X, sorry, either in my Y or my Z axis. So what I do is I don't have to click on any of the axis line or any of the objects, just on an empty space here. So you hold down your control and shift. Once you hold down your control and shift, so what this does is that the control will duplicate the object and the shift will constrain it to a particular axis. So I hope that makes sense. So if I hold down control and shift, whatever axis I move first is what is going to constrain. So if I click here, then it constrain it to my Z axis. I can't go up anymore. So that can be used for that. So that's what I use in creating this set. So for me to come down again, hold down control shift, move my mouse on, my, on an empty space, click and drag down. Then it constrains that. All right, sorry about that. So that is how you can copy that. Just be, so if I'm to copy along this view, so that means I have to move my view to this kind of view, just like this, then hold down Control Shift, click and drag sideways. So it has a copy here, all right? So we have that. Then there is this other one, which has been around for a long time, is selecting objects that are um in they're more like in your view they are you have different objects that you can have and select so if for instance what i mean by that is that if you notice that this view 
I have an object in front of me and I also have another object behind this object. So how can I do it? If I want to select the one behind, how do I select? If I select this, I know that that object is cube 3. And I want to select cube 3, even though I'm here. So how can I do that? So you hold down your shift and you right click. So if you hold down shift and right click, it shows you all the objects that are in that are behind and the one in front of you. So the one I want is the cube 3. So I can select cube 3 that is selected, then I can move that out. If that is what I intend doing. So that is there for you to work on. Then the other shortcuts that I also have is um the commander all right now the command this commander has always also been around but now it has a place where you can have an icon for it and that is um under your tool menu you have your commander and the shortcut is shift c so what the commander does just a quick um command line that helps you pick anything you want anyways anything whatsoever so how it works if i hold down shift and c this comes up so let's say for instance i want to create a q i want to create a sphere shift c brings this then i can type sphere then just press enter the sphere is created so i have this sphere here i can bring so if i want to create a pyramid just shift c pyramid press enter and that comes up then let's assume this pyramid i want to delete that it's just the same thing delete then you have that delete so you can always come down to the delete one you want press enter that goes so if i select this i can do the same thing delete it remembers the one that i selected last that deletes that so that is the commander is there and it makes your workflow very fast <clears throat> all right so the other thing uh, that i'm going to talk about is um i think is new here you now have your tools your modeling tools and every other tools um arranged for you so if you go to your um tools sorry if you go to your mesh you can see everything arranged here now before now you don't have all these categories so if you're looking for tools that can allow you add things add geometry can come to your add you can notice under under your add you have add points it allows you to add more points Close polygon holes, add a polygon. So bridge also add. So if you are looking for tools that can allow you to remove some things out, you can go to your remove and clone cuts and so on and so forth. So all these things are here for you. Now there is this um shape, this landscape. All right, so NA. Now I've always had issue with this landscape, and I'm happy that this has been resolved and i'm so happy about this i use landscape a lot but there are there will be times there there have always been times where i want to increase the slope of this um the what's it how do i call it this um mountain top i want to increase it and what happened then was that as i'm increasing this this comes down the base also comes down so thereby affecting the ground level so i have to start moving going to the photographic view and moving this in place but funny enough and good thing is that if i use this to increase this it doesn't affect the base so the base is still there so if you use landscape a lot you will understand and know what i'm trying to say so when you do this now you notice that the base is stick is stuck to the ground so it's not going below the ground level so just to let you know that this is here and there so i think i just have one more thing to talk about here and just call this tutorial and and that will be in this scene i have a scene here that i created all right so this scene is here and now in cinema for the hour 21 you now have this camera choose a uh, switcher here for you to switch camera and believe me this is very good and the reason why I'm saying that still is because when you are working on a project, you will not have this little or this few objects to work with. You have a lot of objects and going down and you will be having different cameras and trying to scroll and be looking for cameras has been a problem, has been 
hectic and ton of problem for me so but then this has really changed the game and the thing here is that if for, for instance i want to switch between camera so i have camera one camera two and camera three so instead of me coming in i'm switching this i can always do that in my scene so just click here once i click i have my camera one it switches to camera one click camera and click camera two switches so that is so fast so i go back to the default camera i'm back here so i don't have to come here so if i add a new camera the camera will also be added there automatically so if i come to this place for instance add a new camera three and bring camera three somewhere here then go out the camera three is already there for me so if i check you see you have a camera three it gives me and that is there and also the another good thing here is that you can also rename this camera so now that i have camera three so let's assume i want to rename this from base i don't have to come here and do that you can just click once and click again so just more like you are double clicking on this name so if you double click you have this camera one so i can call this base cam and automatically it renames there so if i switch this back to this camera one so maybe this is scene one i can double click so i can just say scene or i can come send one and you have that notice it's renamed so that's how that now but you cannot rename your default camera i tried renaming it didn't work so if you go to your default and double click it will bring the interface for you to rename but as soon as you change this it will go back so it doesn't really notice it doesn't change All right that is there so one more bonus is that now i this has been around i didn't know and that is for me to add tags to this object what i usually do is select the object here right click go to cinema 4d tags or come here and start adding tags or come to tag here and start adding tag but you don't have to select object here you can even do that in the scene without coming to the attribute or object manager so we select this for instance and you right click in the scene you're going to see your new tag so you have your different tags you can add here. So if you want to add in any tag whatsoever, sorry about that. You can just pick a tag that you want to add to it and that should be there. So let me go to the rigging tag. Let's say I want to add a um, restriction tag, for instance. You can add that. You have other tag and so on. You have so many tags that you can add. So so let's, for, go, let's go to our render and go to this. Um, display you see you have your display tag you can change what mode you want to have for that object and that affects the object so i think i'm going to stop this quick tip tutorial here and if you feel you've learned something please do give me a like and if you think those these new things are uh, these new um shortcuts and that uh, are helpful and you can just put uh, comment in the description below and let's also learn today.